Hi everybody! Today's tip is actually pretty strange. It's actually for competitions or recitals themselves. Lots of times teachers call for wigs. I'm going to tell you how to take care of them. You should never really need to wash a wig. But if you do, use lukewarm water and like put the part that needs to be in it. Never, I would suggest not washing the part where the hair is connected to this. Well, so this is a wig I had for my Halloween costume one year. Nicki Minaj, pink and yellow, very, very artistic. Um... But if you do brush it out, if it has like knots, use this kind of brush. It's a wire pick brush. It's kind of specialized for this kind of hair. So I am going to figure out how to use my little model and to get her to stay still. Okay, well I'm going to be using this bear. It has about the same size head. It's a little wider. Trying to figure out this. Oh, crud. figured out. Ugh. Well, anyways, you might just want to use something that has, like, almost close to the same size head as you or a different person. So when you brush out like knots and tangles, oh, and when you do wash your their hair, you might you let it air dry. You don't blow it with a hair dryer or anything. So I'm just gonna brush this out. And to keep mine from getting extremely knotted, I hang them up on I hang it up on like a wall or something. So. Okay, right there, there. Try not to make this fall. Okay, so right here is a little nail, right where I have my finger on. I take the net, which is this, and I just find a spot, maybe like a good spot, and I hook it on there, and it stays. That's how I keep it from getting knots. And then you put your hand on top of the, of the part that has the net and just brush out the ends. You would be amazed how easily this stuff comes out. Now to keep it from seeing your real hair. This is a nylon bald cap. It's like those things you put on your feet when you're trying on shoes and you don't have any socks. So it's how I put it on. You don't even need to pull your hair back or anything. Flip your head over. Take the net and put it on from the back of your head. No, uh, sorry. You're going to put it on under, so. Oh, that's worse. So you're going to take it, and you're going to use it 
you're gonna hook it under your chin, pull it over your face, so you look like <laughs> so you look like this. I look so jacked up. And then you'll start pulling. <laughs> it up over your face so everything's kind of all your hair would be tucked back here then y'all are going to grab it twist it into a bun doesn't even have to be a good bun just a bun then you're going to take the bottom of this and pull it, shove it up in there, and you want to hide your ears. So this is how I look like. And you're going to want to adjust the line to where the this and there's bangs like this one. You're going to want, okay, so this is how you put on the wig. You just pull it over your head from behind and then you're going to want to style it like mine isn't very styled <laughs> can you see the strings in front of my face just pull that stuff over to the side Like, see, where mine is, is fine, because this has wigs. I mean, wigs, it has bangs. Sometimes wigs will be itchy, you'll just have to deal with it. I mean, it, it's usually very sh dances are very short, two to ten minutes. Well, usually eight. So you get to decide how you're going to wear So if you have bangs, you want to make sure they're either like. Oh, and make sure you have something hiding that. So like, make sure you have hair right here so people don't see that. Okay, so you either want it kind of like this straight down or you want it like that apart. And if it's a boy's wig, you want the bangs in front to go to the side. Okay, so I'm going to style mine by just taking some and putting it over my shoulders. Just some. And you want to make sure you still have hair left in the back to make it look realistic, even though nobody would have this actual hairstyle instead of Nicki Minaj. So, there's the wig. Now, I do have another way. Oh, and to secure it in place, you'll want to take these U-shaped pins, and you're just going to want to put it in. Make sure you can hide it as well as you can. The best way to do it, I think, is to grab some hair and put it under so it's completely hidden so that's a long wig I really am not sure how you handle short wigs oh and um, to keep them if you short wigs are um, easy to remember you keep them
I can open my... Okay. Short wigs, keep them in these little tiny black hair nets. So, this is supposed to be a Madonna wig. Sorry if you hurt my stomach. <laughs> yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. And sometimes, oh, and you want to make sure you hide your, if you have a button, you're going to make sure you want to pull down the wig and tuck the button under. Just keep doing that. I took care of that. Looking so lovely. <laughs> okay, sometimes there's straps. If I can find the one on the side, maybe. Well, anyways, there's this. It's supposed to, I think, either be a chin strap. Okay, here I found it. And the more you pull on it, it tightens, like, the elastic around, so it'll fit you better. And you're supposed to, to take these. Oh, it's hard to do this because I have to open a mirror and do it. Like this. It's, it's really suffocating. <laughs> so you want to. I'm gonna pull it up my chin. It's harder to breathe out of your mouth than it is to breathe out of your nose. So, breathe out of your nose. Again, secure it with the U-shaped pins. Um, if you do have these, get um, like your makeup that's your skin tone and like kind of just brush it over it just to make it look more realistic. Because this could be somebody's hair. I mean, it looks pretty realistic to me. It looks really George Washington to me, but. <laughs> so, yeah. I should probably end this video now because it doesn't let me do videos longer than 13. I mean, than 15 minutes. And I've just hit 13, so. This is how you. These are how you take care of your wigs and I'm not sure how you wash your short wigs so you might just want to search that online and not look off of this because I only know how to shirt or use it's the same for long hair extensions so I'm not sure how it is but short wigs though so as I wrap my thing my my Madonna blonde wig and it's a little black thing.